AITA for refusing to pay for my friend's EpiPen? This is a throwaway because my friends have read it and I don't want them to find this. I have a housemate, Jillian 26F, who is severely allergic to peanuts. There are five of us who rent a house together and we all agreed to put a label in our food containers to help keep Jillian safe and avoid contamination. I have a mini fridge in my room where I store my drinks so that I don't have to go to the kitchen if I want a drink in the middle of the night. Well last Friday my Filipino girlfriend gave me an authentic Filipino dish for lunch at work. It's called Care Care. It's an oxtail stew with a rich peanut sauce. It's in a glass container. And I saved some so I can have it for dinner. When I got home I put it in my mini fridge but I forgot to eat it that night because we ordered pizza for dinner. Saturday I went out with my girlfriend and got home at around 9 p.m. When I arrived Jillian's girlfriend, Trish, confronted me saying I almost killed Jillian. I didn't know what she was talking about. She went on saying how irresponsible of me to not label the food in my mini fridge. I asked one of our housemates WTF happened and he said Jillian had an allergic reaction to my stew. Because I didn't put a label on the container. I told them it's inside my personal mini fridge and how dare they enter my room. Trish said they were looking for beer when they saw my stew. She and another housemate ate it. Jillian only tasted it and she had an anaphylactic shock where they had to use her EpiPen to stop the swelling. Trish then demanded that I need to pay for the EpiPen. I told them that is not going to happen. If anything they should apologize to me for trespassing and stealing my food. They called me an asshole. She and three housemates said I nearly caused Jillian her life and the least I could do is apologize and pay for the EpiPen. AITA? Edit for more info. Jillian was taken to the hospital. No. I never gave anyone any permission to enter my room. They were drinking that time and were looking for more beer. They ate the dish with some rice that they found on top of the mini fridge. I think Jillian ate some rice that had sauce on it. I didn't get to ask the details of that exactly happened. WTF they trespassed and stole from you. How could you possibly be the asshole? Ask them if this means you can go into their rooms and grab whatever you want. NTA. NTA. Literally none of this would have happened if they had not invaded your space. Without your permission. Taken food that did not belong to them. And eaten said food. Perhaps this can be a lesson to them in the future. To not enter a space they don't have permission to enter. And to not eat food that they do not have permission to eat. NTA and you don't owe them shit. Also. Care care reeks of peanuts? I seriously don't understand how they didn't smell it. I can smell it when my neighbors cook it down the street cold sweat smile. P.S. Get a lock on that door ASAP. NTA. You're right. But good luck convincing them. For what it's worth I have a friend who's allergic to peanuts. Carries EPA pens. And I cannot imagine them touching in labeled food. That's nuts. Har har. We were trying to steal your beer. But we stole your stew instead and the person with the deathly allergy decided to eat the unlabeled food with no idea of the ingredients and it's all your fault. NTA. NTA but I would move because I doubt leftovers is the only thing your roommate has taken from your room. NTA. No the fuck you don't? You didn't forget to label something in the communal fridge. They went into your room and opened your fridge and ate your food. That's on them. Maybe whoever went scrounging for beer should pay for a new one considering they can't even afford to buy their own goddamn beer. NTA. Sorry they entered your room and ate food without knowing what it was. 
The first thing was thievery and then they blamed you for their bad behavior. I hope Jillian learns don't eat food from people's mini fridges unless invited. It would be different if you had served the dish to everyone or put it in the communal fridge where food became cross-contaminated. This is purely on them. This is the exact purpose of a personal mini fridge. YTF are they looking for beer in your fridge? They trying to steal your beer? What would have happened if there was beer in there and they took it? Seriously what make them think it was okay to enter someone's tool and eat random food? Isn't that something your mom teaches you? Don't eat mysterious food? If anything they should have texted you and asked first NTA. I really want to know what you would have said had they stolen your beer. NTA. There was a simple reason why the stew was in you mini fridge in your room. It was fucking yours. The way you describe it it seemed that you didn't intend on sharing it with anyone and that you wanted to eat it yourself. Why should you label it then? Besides, taking food without asking is just rude. It may sound harsh but I would say they are more at fault than you ever could be in this scenario. If anyone should replace the EpiPen, it's them. NTA. I'm even tempted to say it was karma for attempting to steal beer from your personal fridge. Edit 1. I wrote the wrong acronym. Edit 2. Surely they don't believe their own BS. They must know they were caught red-handed and this is all just a way to deflect from their guilt. Edit 3. Alright. Let's break this down. Op. NTA. Trish. A. Housemate 1. One who ate with Trish. If they were aware of the food's origin, A. If unaware but sided with Trish later, A. If unaware and sides with Op, not A. Jillian. If she was aware of Trish entering OP's room to pilfer beer, A. If she did not condone the theft and was unaware of the food's origin and blames Op, A. If she did not condone the theft and was unaware of the food's origin and does not blame Op, not a but still an idiot. I do wish her a speedy recovery. Housemates who side with Trish. A. Edit 4. I see some saying they are young and it's not really stealing. Etc. All they had to do was send a text asking for permission before going in. It's not the Stone Age. NTA they trespassed and stole from you. They need to face the consequences of their own actions. Also who eats from an unlabeled containers if you know you have a severe allergy? That's just asking for trouble. NTA. If it was the common area then yes. But they went into your room and stole from your mini fridge. I have bad allergies. I never eat anything without finding out what's in it first when I go to someone's home I specifically ask about dishes as I don't expect them to remember my allergies. If anything your roommates should buy you a new meal. Absolutely NTA. You are completely in the right here. NTA. Sounds like you would GTFO of this situation, that's a lot of BS. NTA Jillian should know not to eat unknown items in someone's mini fridge in their bedroom. Why did she, and other roommates, feel so entitled to your stuff? NTA. Jesus Christ that's the dumbest shit I've heard. Blaming you for the consequences of stealing your food from your fridge. In your room. The mental gymnastics involved there, impressive. Edit. I'll say that people can be a little irrational when traumatized. Which I guess they are to some extent. Hopefully they'll come around and apologize for their shitty behavior. NTA. I assume Jillian was at the hospital when you got home? Because after using an EPI pen, you have to go to be checked out and monitored. She did that, right? I'd also like to know more specifically who of the housemates went into your fridge and stole your food. Jillian is a severely allergic adult. 
she would never knowingly eat unknown food unless she has a death wish and three people shared one leftover serving something seems off are we sure that jillian even knew where the food came from or did she get cross contaminated by one of the roommates or assume that the food was theirs was from the communal fridge i'd be having a chat with jillian when she gets home from the hospital i feel like there is something missing from the version of the story that you're being told nta if it's in your mini fridge in your room she had no business tasting it additionally if she didn't know what was in the food in the unlabeled container why would she even risk tasting it nta they went into your room into your personal fridge unless you had previously said they are welcome to food drink from your fridge you have no reason to label anything that is in there if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe